So we're doing something a little bit different today. We've obviously got a big box here. We are gonna be opening the Jabba's Sail Barge today, and I'm trying to do a bit of an unboxing on this one before the review, because frankly, I gotta get this thing out, and there's no telling how hard it's gonna be to actually review this thing. So we're gonna kinda open this up, take a look at it, and uh, I don't know, check it out, first impressions kind of thing. So, you know, here it is. Give you an idea of how big this thing is. It's sitting on a coffee table right now, and it's bigger than the coffee table. It is 53 inches long, so it's a humongous box. We know that the sail barge itself is four feet long. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of cardboard here. Uh, I'm really curious to make sure that it came okay, that we've got all the parts and we can do it. So let's do it. boxes. We've got the, the outer box, which is like the Hasbro kind of case pack box. And then the inner box is a protective shipper. Now, I'm going to complain, I guess, for a second. They said that this guy was going to have corner protection on the inside of it. It definitely does not. Um, my box seems to be fine, though, so far. You know, we'll see. But uh, it's kind of a thing. You know, you'd want this thing to be uh, protected because it's so expensive. But at least we've got two boxes. And uh, I'm not too concerned about how the box is, the case box looks. I'm interested how this box looks. But it does have a seam protector in there. Well, I mean, it's just a piece of cardboard. But we've got this, this guy, uh, to protect the box so I didn't cut it to pieces. And at first glance, things look okay. Well, here it is in all of its glory. Out of the shipper out of the double shipper and i think it looks pretty solid you can see we've got the you know the shot of the sail barge across the front we've got its name and all the stuff that it comes with we got boba fett over there and the top again you can kind of see a rundown of like all the interior stuff and then a bunch of figures that they've tried to recreate some of the scenes from the sail barge you know in return of the jedi i think my corners look pretty good i do have a ding here See a bunch of toys sitting out, as is the norm around the house. And then we've got some very vintage-inspired side paneling on this guy. Uh, I think it arrived in pretty decent shape. And then, I mean, frankly, I like the back of the box the best. You've got that very stark white packaging with the red Return of the Jedi logo. And then you've got the, the barge in all of its glory again with the Vintage Collection logo. And then more of that stuff there. And then it looks like we've got a number of tabs here to pop this guy open. If I can do this one-handed, which I probably cannot. This is where I start ripping cardboard. So we're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna pop all these open so I don't ruin anything and then we'll take a peek on the inside. And so the whole box kind of folds open. So all those tabs actually fold everything open and you've kind of got the shell of the box here as I now have to navigate around it. But then you can kind of see the barge in all of its glory, well, all of its plastic and styrofoam wrapped glory. And we've got some instructions here, probably telling me that I should have done this with a friend with a quote unquote barge buddy, but I went solo on this. We've got this beautiful guy here, Yak Face. He looks pretty good. Get a long shot of him. And then we've got a very vintage inspired backer card artwork there, so that's pretty cool. This is something that a lot of folks have been looking forward to specifically. I mean, I've already got this figure, but uh, having it on this card back is definitely, you know, half the story, right? So, yeah, it's a big boy. We've got a lot of work to do to get this thing out. And then this guy is obviously full of accessories. We've got the, the big man over here himself. I just noticed him. We've got Jabba the Hutt himself here. It looks pretty good. I've seen someone with a Jabba that has no pupils and two right hands. So mine has a left hand, a right hand, and he's got two painted eyes. He looks really, really good. Pretty happy with this guy. Everybody needs a job of the hut. Well, we'll put him on the couch for now. 
So, I guess it's time to unwrap this guy. Here's that parts box that was underneath the barge. This has all the stuff, so all the stuff that is apparently somewhat difficult to put together. So you can see we've got the, the sails in here, we've got the large supports, we've got the fins, we've got the big old main gun, a couple side cannons, we've got the legs. I think these are the chains for the, uh, the rotting corpse that's in the prison cell. So I think I've got everything. I've heard a number of reports of people missing stuff, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully I'm good. But we've got that, so now we've got to take a look at the barge itself. All right, so here it is in its glory, in its four foot long glory, I suppose. Um, I've taken the panels off, and there's one up front as well. So this kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. Uh, so you can see I've already got Java in place in there. And then, of course, you can fill it with all sorts of stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy filling this thing with a bunch of stuff that doesn't exactly belong here. Uh, I, I can foresee a Phantom Star Killer at the helm, maybe a Misfits Fiend hidden somewhere in this thing, uh, some Iron Maiden Trooper uh, Eddie figures in here, something like that. But we've got uh, a pretty amazing specimen here, all things considered. So basically what I figured we do is kind of take a look, because I'm going to try to build this right now. Obviously I'm not going to really build it on camera because frankly I've heard the sails are a bit of a mess to put together, so I'm going to try to do those and then we'll talk about them. So I've already kind of started, you know, I took the, the side panels off just to give you an idea of what it looks like, this big cross section sort of. And then there are also four acrylic stands that this thing sits on. And when I put them on, it was kind of interesting because I'm not sure how this thing comes apart. I'm not sure if this thing is meant to really be disassembled once you've put it together. Uh, these things already seem to have locked in place. I haven't tried to really force them out yet, so I could be wrong, but it's also something to keep note of. So we're going to kind of go through the instruction booklet and we're going to put it together and then kind of as I do it, we'll just talk about the process, I suppose. So the first step, well, I guess the second step, after you've put the stands on, you've got to put the fins on. So this is one of the side panels and there's this little guy that kind of juts out of the side here and this, these guys just clip on. So there's one on each side and then they, uh, I mean, they're not really articulated, so to speak, but they do swivel back and forth. And then of course this guy will pop back into place here and you've got your kind of controlling fins that help steer the thing because uh, a giant space jet sail barge needs fins to keep it aloft when it clearly is being held in the air by enormous repulsor lifts or some such stuff. So we've got those and you know like I said there's one on each side they just sort of clip in there's little pegs right there and then the uh, there's not a ton to do really and then the next step is guns so I gotta find some guns now. So we've got two guns and these guys are the same they're the same. Two uh, silver gunmetal kind of guns. We know what these are. These are the ones that are on the side rails of the sail barge. And there are uh, six spots for these guys to clip in. They just sort of peg on there and then they do rotate up and down. Uh, there is another one that you could have. I don't actually have it. It came with the Black Series Visam figure. It's a, it's a different kind of gun. It's similar in scale and in design, but it clips on differently. So it actually attaches to the railings. I'm likely going to grab one of those. They're really cheap still on the aftermarket to, to get another gun. But you've got some side rail guns that are going to go along with the big gun, which I guess comes later because they jump from guns to sails. So let's take all that stuff out and see exactly how difficult that's going to be. So just about everything left in this parts box is the sails. We've got the large support structures. We've got like the trellises. We've got the the side supports, I suppose. And then, of course, we've got the chains that I mentioned for our dead Ithorian. And then we get the main gun. So it basically says that you're supposed to just take all this stuff out and then start assembling. So I'm going to try to do that. And then we'll kind of talk about exactly what it entails. I have heard from more than a few sources that it is at least tedious, but problematic at worst. So we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't turn out too much of a mess because these are, of course, you know, real cloth sails. They have to be kind of attached and threaded over top of some things it looks like and held on with some tension to make them look nice and taut at the very least. Uh, they do look really nice though. You know, I'm not going to lie. I do think everything here looks like it's presented really nice. They even look nice just in this box. So they did a good job of that. But uh, let's just pull all this stuff out and then we'll see 
we'll see what this thing looks like once it's done, whether or not I have uh, broken anything. Okay, so we got one on. Uh, you can see we got our nice big sail here, and it's not so bad. It's not as terrible as some folks have made it out to be. It's certainly not easy, and the instructions really aren't all that great. I certainly was concerned about a few steps and that I was doing them correctly, but here's an idea of what you have to do using the second one as an example. So, you know, we've kind of got our box of stuff over here. So this is the sail and, you know, I didn't even know it was this. I thought the whole thing was held together with tension, but I mean, it is, but it isn't. So you've got all of these rods that run through this to help it maintain its shape, which frankly is nice. You can kind of see them as they uh, kind of run down. So it's never going to be 100% flat. And I'm not sure that anybody expects it to be. I mean, who knows what it's going to look like five, 10 years from now anyway. But you've got your sail here, and then you've got basically, pull it out, you've got these big supports here, and then you've got some supports that sit underneath it, and basically you just sort of drape the thing over top of it, and then there are uh, basically arms that hold the whole thing together. So you'll essentially just kind of pull, pull the sail across this, but then you've also got this big guy here that will allow you I'm probably going to show it wrong now because I'm not reading the instructions again, but it'll allow you to drape the sails over. So top, end of the sail, top of the sail, and then the sides, and then you have got just little supports in here, and then there are arms that come out of the side here that will attach to the side of the barge to keep it kind of in place a little bit. So it's really not that crazy. It's just a matter of making sure that you've got things oriented because just like I mentioned uh, when it came to the stands, some of these things really don't seem like they're going to come back out once they're in. A lot of stuff clips in um, pretty harshly. Not in a bad way, it certainly makes things sturdy, but I'm, I'm not so sure, you know, like if I clamp this together, how hard is it going to be to get this to come out? Because it very much wants to lock in place. And the sail itself actually locks in place to the deck of the barge. So, you know, I'm not too sure. Yeah, we'll find out, I suppose. Someone's going to take the thing apart eventually. But we've got this, so let's, I'm going to build the second one real quick, and then we'll kind of take a look at the whole deal. You know what? We're just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. We're going to try to do it on camera here. So we've got our strut here, our big main support, and then you've got the uh, kind of inner trellis. So there is a short side, and there is a long side. They're not too much different, but you can see one is shorter than the other. So you've got them here angled down. There's also a, like a megaphone on this thing. It's kind of your center. And you pop this thing in short side facing down and then it just clips in. And there's holes up here at the top and then there is a main clip in the middle and then another hole that it pegs into at the bottom. And then it just sits in there. Gotta get it in. It'll, it'll pop in. So there you go. And like I said, this thing, I don't know. I'm not sure if this guy's ever coming out. If I don't send stuff flying across the room. So then we've got two more little supports. You've got these little guys here. There's two for each sail. There are grooves right up here at the top and they just sit in crosswise. So makes it cross, crosswise. And you put both of them in there. And then it's basically a support. It keeps the sail, it just helps keep the sail from sagging by the looks of it. And then sail time. So there is I can do this. So there is a short and a long side. So just like the bar, it looks like the, the strut. So here's the short side and it just kind of clips over. See, short side, long side. So you just match them up. There are two little nubs here. They will fall into place in between the ends of the strut. And then you pull this part and this part, the top and the bottom, pull them taut against the big rod that goes down the center. And you knock things out and all that. This thing really does like to curl up on you, so you know, keep that in mind. But you take this guy and you just slide slide it on like that and like that. Well, not exactly like that, but close. And then you can pop this nub here on the top. These guys want to fall out when I'm doing it, so just keep an eye on them. They don't really have to, you don't have to do anything with them. Just make sure that they, just make sure that they're there, basically. 
And if you do what I did on the first one, you might end up with issues because pulling this guy taut can be kind of rough if you've got everything else already connected. So just keep watch out for that. And then pull. You might have to pull harder than you think. This is heavy duty fabric, so I mean, I haven't ripped it yet. Wouldn't that make for a good video though? Idiot rips his $500 sail barge. Okay, so, and there you go, we got a sail. And there it is. So you just got to peg these things in. Here's the main support, it pegs into a hole there, and it pegs into a hole there. And then there is this support, and then there's one on the other side. And I didn't do it on this one yet. You can, you can do that at any time. They really don't have to be done while you've got it in there. This is just to kind of show you what it looks like. These things keep it uh, sturdy. So it's not so bad. Um, I am I'm concerned about the, the ease of use for those because those accessories really aren't all that great. But they do tell you enough. And frankly, once you do one, you will immediately know how to do the other because they're the same. Um, but otherwise, I do think it looks pretty snazzy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, there's got to be more to this. Let's see what else. We need to figure out how to put the chains on this Ithorian as well. So let's keep reading. Well, actually, really, that's pretty much it. There's not that much that you have to put together here. The sails, you know, putting the fins on, putting the legs on. I did not clearly pay attention to the instructions. Uh, there are these little antenna that are in a baggie. They were with the chains for the Ithorian, which frankly, these things are probably the worst thing to try to put in there. They're very difficult to get in. So I'm not gonna keep going at that right now. We'll get there because that little guy all the way back there, you probably can't see him because the lighting where I am right now in the house is just atrocious. But we've got, you know, the, the Ithorian back there who's all desiccated and nasty. He died in transit. So we've got the antenna, and then there are these little weird things. They call them engine details. These little things that are hanging off the end here, how they're not going to fall out over time, I have no idea. Something about that screams lost parts to me, and frankly, I don't even know what they are. These weird little nubs. I just, you know, I don't know. Maybe I don't like Star Wars that much to know what those little three nubs are. Otherwise, this thing is pretty freaking fantastic. Uh, I still need to really go through it. You know, obviously this is not a review. This is my incredibly poor attempt at an unboxing and a build video when really there's not a lot to build. But I really do think at first glance that Hasbro has done a bang up job here. Obviously I paid a lot of money for this guy, but you know, after a year almost, I think they delivered. I guess I said that like a question, but it's not. Uh, this thing's just really cool. That's really all it is. It's going to take a lot to process this and kind of figure out what I want to do with it, where in the world it's going to go. We're pretty much in, in toy room number two right now, I think is what, what's about to happen here. So we're kind of in the, the basement living room. It might be barge central now. So we'll find out. But uh, I'm definitely going to do a full review on this thing. We're going to go, go over with a fine tooth comb. I'm kind of late on this because mine just didn't arrive uh, like a lot of other folks did, but I'm still going to do it. And I'm very much interested to kind of pick over this thing, really go into detail on Jabba, look at that Yak Face card, and look at the figure. But yeah, it's pretty cool. There's going to be a lot of weird stuff in this thing that don't belong in, uh, in this thing. But, you know, I want to have fun with this thing. It's not going to be a scene-for-scene -scene recreation from Return of the Jedi for me. That is not at all why I bought this. Uh, we got a lot of fun that's going to happen with this guy. So I will get to work on that. But until then, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got one. Let me know if you want, are one of the eight to 9,000 people that, that got one of these. Well, I say that, and some people got 10 to 15 of these things. So that's a whole different story. But I do think it's really cool, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what people think about this thing, just from a general standpoint. And I will be back very soon with a review of Jabba's sail barge, the Katana, from Hasbro's Haslabs.